Monday's Halifax. So how do you like our new digs? A little bit more space? My goal as a hockey player when I was 10 years old, I wanted to hurt people. I thought if I hurt, person or, uh, hurt a person or injured a person and put them out of the game, I was helping out the team, right? So that was me, but then one game, it finally came to me, the revenge. We were playing against a team from Sherbrooke, Quebec. I grew up in Quebec. And uh, this young, this really small speedster on the team snuck up right into me, hit me in the chest with his shoulder, perfectly clean chest. I go flying back head first into the boards. Groggy and drowsy, the co our coach comes out and picks me up off the ice. And the player comes over that hit me and says, sorry about that hit. But I'm in rage. I take my hockey stick and swing it back at this guy. I really wanted to hurt him. I stopped. I stopped though. But I, I really thought I was going to kill him. I never had the pleasure of meeting my father. I never saw a picture of him. And I don't even know his name. That's my choice. That's okay. Many individuals in life have experienced the same upbringing as I have. I received my first label at a very young age when the boy next door intentionally ran me over with his bike, gashing up the back of my leg. My parents, this time, decided to phone the police. And the officers came and do what officers do. And then they explained to us that the boy's parents would be receiving a warning letter along with a copy of the victim's report. It was official. At the age of five, I received my first label, victim. And I gotta tell you, I wore that label like a name badge. Back in the 90s, when the Nova Scotia government wanted us to take on recycling in a big way, they took it to the elementary schools first. The kids brought it home. And it worked. Oh yeah. I think we remember those days. Little Samantha would come home, seven years old. Catch mommy at the sink in her apron. Mommy, guess what? The milk carton doesn't go in the garbage can anymore. Oh really, honey? Where does it go? It goes over here. Okay, honey. Well, we'll work on that as we work on, you know, retrofitting your wardrobe and your playdates for the rest of the week. Okay? If we really want to use language, if we really, really want to connect, then we need honesty. We need integrity. We need to care. This is an incredible language. This is the language of Shakespeare, of Milton, of Faulkner, of Stephen Leacock, of Mordecai Richler, and yes, of Groucho Marx and Stephen Wright. This is an incredible language we have here. And it, it hurts my ears to hear it used this way. It hurts my soul to see people buying into it. So if you speak directly to people. Um, I was pretty young, 30 years old, and married. Um, I owned a business. I had a very attractive and successful husband. I had two beautiful little boys. I owned one of the first um, secure e-commerce sites in Canada. I designed lingerie, which we sold across the country and into the U.S., primarily into the U.S. And from all outward appearances, I had it all going on. But as we all know, outward appearances are not always all that's going on. What do you think of our six speakers tonight? Pretty amazing. Please stand up, all of our six speakers stand up.